Right, here we have Heli Tools, 12 volt, 30 watt soldering iron, as you can see from the, uh, the, from the red dot there. And uh, here's how it looks, standard soldering iron looking, single lead. This is the eBay page, £8.53, arrived in a couple of days. Okay, anyway, I don't use those plugs, so off with that one. And uh, change it for an Anderson power pole connector. So just uh, just strip these off, and uh, and that one. Fold them over, and in they go. It's great when you can work this fast. It saves a lot of time in the day. A little bit of solder there. There we go. I have some on that one. There we go. Now just touch them to make sure they're too hot. Oh, burnt finger. Oh, blow on it. Blow on it some more. There we go, stuff it in there. Making sure to uh, stab your finger at the same time. Pop those together. Good to go. Right, here it is, plugged in. 12 volts, 2.5 amps. Okay. Okay, 2 amps. Not so okay. 1.8. Oh, this is not a 30 watt iron, if ever I've seen one. Anyway, does it get hot? Solder melting. Proof that it gets hot, if nothing else. About 1.5 amps, so 18 watts, not 20, not 30. Maybe they're Chinese eBay watts. Who needs SI units? So that seems to go. Solder smoke and everything. Yeah, I could use that. Right, now, let's give it a try on some 18650s. Here's three 18650s in a holder. Let's just have a look at the battery voltage. What have we got here? Okay, 12 and a half volts. So they're charged. That's fine. And plug them into the into the power meter. You see why I changed the connectors. Everything I've got uses these connectors. There we go, 12, 12 and a half volts. Just repeating myself. Didn't need to use the meter. And now plug this in to the power meter. Get in there. Ah, uh, she's in. And there we go, 18 watts. Battery volts has dropped, just over 10 volts, one and a half amps, and about 15 watts at the moment. Let's just check for it getting warm. Okay, it's warm again, that would work. and get the infrared thermometer on it and the infrared thermometer says 26 degrees oh that's not right that's very not right i'm not going to touch it to prove that it's warmer than that maybe in the comments you can you can tell me why that's not uh, not reading the correct temperature maybe emissivity or something some clever people out there will know i'm sure i'm not one of them so, uh, so there we have it. 12 volt. So say 30 watt solder and iron. But not quite 30 watts. Is it a replacement from a gas iron? I don't know. Could it be useful for an emergency repair? Of course it could. So there we have it. Thanks for watching.